Part 7 Panel Door Single Panel Let's start Download and open the file PD1P Open <coughs> Go to Front Elevation Select the Lock Style and the Hinge Style Create New Parameter and name it frame style finish <coughs> okay select the bottom rail and the top rail go to material and finishes create new parameter and name it frame rail finish okay next select the panel go to material and finishes pick the button create new parameter and name it panel finish <coughs> okay next go to family types select the frame rail select the materials go to materials library select the AEC materials look for the wood and select the wood insert ok replace right click rename and name it wood frame rail ok apply select the frame style go to material library uh, select AEC look for wood wood insert right click and rename uh, rename it wood frame style okay next apply select the panel finish go to material library select the AEC materials look for the wood select the wood and insert right click rename okay wood panel okay apply next we need to change the green for the frame rail so select the image let's rotate the image to 90 degree okay apply okay the, so the green is horizontally laid select the moldings go to edit type go to material and finishes and select the panel finish same finish with the panel ok next let's download and open the race panel ok load into the project PD1P ok next select control tab to select and select the generic model panel select go to properties and change panel to race ok so you have the race panel let's go to the back elevation control tab select the generic model panel ok 
go to properties and select panel and change to race okay so we have the race panel okay check next let's go to front uh, reference level uh, let's create a reference plane <coughs> dimension okay select the dimension let's create new parameter name it lock set offset Okay. Next, go to family types. Let's change the value of the lock set offset to 70 millimeter. Okay, let's correct the lock set. Change it to small O. Okay. Next, let's load the lock set component. Okay, you can download it and open the C door handle. Open, load into the project PD1P. So it's load, place the component. Okay, pick. Okay, select the door handle go to properties and let's change it to lever handle with deadbolt okay go to thickness pick the button and select the panel thickness okay go to edit type go to material and finishes pick the button and create a new parameter name it lock set finish <clears throat> okay 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 next go to front elevation create reference plane dimension <clears throat> okay select the dimension create new parameter and name it lock set height okay next go to family types change the value of lock set height to 1000 okay align select the reference plane and align the lock set Okay, select the reference plane and select the center line of the lock set. Okay, good. Go back to 3D. Next, let's save the family. Okay, next, load into project. <coughs> Okay, select place on work plane pick and align pick this line and pick the center line of the door panel lock select the center line select and lock okay let's try the parameters go to opening angle 90 degree apply okay good 45 okay zero apply okay let's go back to 20 now we need to maps uh, the rest of the parameters select the door elevation from pick the button and select the seal height okay top rail pick the button let's create 
new parameter top rail <coughs> ok bottom rail click the button create new parameter name it bottom rail ok ok lock style click the button let's create new parameter name it lock style ok ok next hinge style pick the button create new parameter name it hinge style ok panel thickness pick the button select the thickness panel width select the button and select the width that's the door width and the panel height let's select the actual height ok now let's go to edit type let's map the materials and finishes frame rail let's create new parameter name it frame rail finish ok ok frame style pick the button create new parameters frame style finish ok ok lock set finish I think select the door handle finish ok panel finish let's create new parameter name it panel <coughs> finish ok next we need to map also the lock set height pick the button select the lock set height lock set offset select the lock set offset ok ok next Let's go to 3D. Okay, select the door panel placeholder. Let's hide the element. Okay, now let's try the parameters. Bottom rail, this is the bottom rail. Let's change it to 200 millimeter. Okay, good. Next, the hinge style. This is the hinge style. <clears throat> let's change it to let's say 400 ok good that's the hinge style let's go back to 125 <clears throat> lock style this is the lock style change it to 300 ok good let's go back to 125 Okay, apply now <coughs> let's change the lock set height let's say 800 ok good all is parametric let's go back to 1000 apply let's change the the door width say 800 apply ok good let's say uh, the opening angle to 90 ok 45 good 0 ok good done see you in part 8 thank you